welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Millie the Meerkat by Oakley Graham. There was once a young meerkat called Millie, who was bored as she sat on an earth mound, taking her turn as lookout. To amuse herself, Millie took a great big breath and barked out, Snake! Snake! A snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow. All the other meerkats came running out of their own burrows to help Millie drive the snake away. But when they arrived at the top of the mound, they found no snake. Millie laughed at the sight of their angry faces. Don't bark snake, Millie, said the other meerkats, if there's no snake. Later that day, Millie was feeling even more bored and barked out again. Snake! Snake! A snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow! To her mischievous delight, Millie watched as the other meerkats rushed to the mound to help her drive the snake away. But when the other meerkats arrived at the top of the mound, they found no snake. Again, Millie laughed at the sight of their angry faces. Don't bark snake, Millie! repeated the other meerkats, if there's no snake. Late in the afternoon, Millie saw a real snake slithering close to the baby meerkat's burrow. Alarmed, Millie leapt to her feet and barked out as loudly as she could, Snake! Snake! A snake is approaching the baby meerkat's burrow! But the other meerkats just thought that Millie was trying to fool them again, so they didn't come out to help her. Outside, as day turned to night, everyone wondered why Millie hadn't returned for supper. They went to look for Millie and found her crying on top of the lookout mound. There really was a snake here. The meerkat babies have scattered. I barked out snake as loudly as I could, sobbed Millie. Why didn't you come to help me? A wise old meerkat tried to comfort Millie as they walked back to the village. We'll help you look for the lost meerkat babies, he said, putting his arm around Millie. You have learnt an important lesson today, Millie. Nobody believes a liar, even when they are telling the truth. The end. Now, does this story sound very familiar? Hmm? Think about it. What other story do you know which is like this one? 